So today we'll be learning about how to get any mobile device location with this particular software. Yes, once again, hacking is illegal because what you want to do here is to test out your own mobile devices, test out your own computers, look at the location of it, and be able to identify the latitude and longitude using this hacking software that you can install directly into your Kyle Linux machine. So right in front of us, we're on GitHub, and I am on Kyle Linux, which is our hacker's operating system. So what we are doing here in front of us is we have the White Hat Seeker. So this is going to be the hacking software that we'll use as part of launching the attack. So what you can do now is go ahead and open up a terminal, which I've already done right here. So let us zoom a little more so it is easier for you to see. So the first thing you want to go ahead and enter is, of course, to clone this particular GitHub repository so that we can begin using the software. So you can enter git clone or HTTPS followed by the URL that we have received over here. So let's go ahead and do right click, copy that. And then of course we can paste it over here and it will be able to download this into our local directory. So go ahead and hit enter on this and I'll begin cloning into Seeker. So once you're done that, go ahead and enter CD. So CD stands for change directory. And we'll go over into Seeker. Enter LS again, and we can see all the files right here. So the first thing you wanna do is to ensure that you have Python tree running. Okay, so we can enter Python tree, all right, followed by Okay, dash dash version to look at the version of Python you're running on. So once you have verified and ascertained that you have Python tree running, we can go ahead and start up this particular hacking software. All right, so the first thing you can do is go ahead and enter Python tree, all right, followed by seeker.py. Hit enter on that and you can see the following checking for updates and it's actually looking out for a certain kind of information like from Servio. And if not, you can use your own tunneling services, which is can be coming from ng rock, which you will be going through in today's tutorial. And as you can see here, checking Servio status offline. So in that case, it meant that we have to begin using ng-rock to help us get access down to the local machine, and then you can run it as a phishing attack, as a phishing exercise. So what we can do now is go ahead and launch Seeker, all right, with a manual tunneling, and then at the same time, specify a port number that you want to use as part of using the service. So go ahead and enter Python tree, seeker.py, dash T manual, followed by dash P, and in this case, we use port 1337, hit enter on that, and it states the following, select a template. So in this case, we'll use zero for near you. So go ahead and try other templates whenever using diff different types of software. So go ahead and hit enter on that. And it states the following, port 1337, starting PHP server success, waiting for user interaction. So right now, we're waiting, waiting for users to access into the service. And then after which, it will provide a phishing page, which will then prompt the user to give location access. So that's how it works. And what we can do next is go ahead and launch another terminal. And right now, what we will do is go ahead and use ng-rock. And ng-rock is a tiling service for us to be able to get access, all right, from the internet all the way to your local machine. So if you're hosting some kind of phishing website, some kind of attacking server, this is how you use ng-rock. So what we can do now is go ahead and dot slash ng-rock, followed by the protocol, in this case, HTTP, all right, followed by 1337, which is the port number that we specified earlier, all right? So I can zoom a little more, hit enter on this, you see the following, okay? We have the following, web interface forwarding, all right, to localhost 1337. So let's go ahead and take a look at the following domain name, right click, open link, all right? And you can see the following, near you, and we can see the hit on ngrock.io. So this is the hacker server that we have actually set up using Seeker. And if you click onto the button like continue, it will say the following and there will be a pop up here. Know your location, select allow, click okay. And if I go back to the earlier terminal, I can see the following. We got on the latitude and the longitude of this particular device where it's coming from. And in this case, we're actually looking at the browser that came from a Linux machine. Likewise, if I was to change this over into an Android device, all right, so in this case, I can once again enter the following information, all right, that we have here, which is the ng-rock domain name here. So if I go back over into Android emulator that I'm running here, doesn't matter. You can have an actual mobile device using mobile data across the internet. As long as they have internet access, they'll be able to see this particular address. And once they load in, they will get your service, which is this phishing website to get your latitude and get your longitude. So all I gotta do now is enter the following, right? Which is the domain name of this particular address. ngrock.io, hit enter on this. And we will once again hit into the same website because we have forwarded from this particular domain name all the way to the service running inside your Kyle Linux machine. If you click continue here, click allow, all right, that's it. We are able to get the details of it and you can see the following in the background on the terminal that we're running. So once again, we can see different kind of latitude, 
different kind of longitude. And of course, the most important part of this is to find out exactly where the mobile device is. So what we can do here now is go back over into say like a Google Maps service, or right, you can go into and utilize any of your favorite mapping services. So in this case, we'll use Google Maps, go ahead and click on it. And all you got to do now is just copy and paste the latitude and longitude that received. Copy on this, all right, select it, copy selection, go over to Google Maps, do a comma on this, and the second part here, which is negative one, two, two, copy selection, paste it over into Google Maps, enter search, and we'll be able to get the address of this particular mobile device, right? So it's right here, as you can see here, M for theater PKWY, right? And if I go back to the device, I can go and look at the options here, and under the options, I can see that this is the latitude and longitude that we've set for the mobile device. Go ahead and try out Angie Raw. Go ahead and try out Seeker and find out what kind of templates, what kind of fishing exercises you can do, and let me know in the comments section how you manage to run it. And once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity and ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.